um, the communication is coming from government. Now, on the other hand, what the TUC is saying? <clears throat> you see, so first of all, good morning to our cherished viewers. As you are aware, H. John Ramani Mahama is on the campaign tour. Today he's doing the Upper East region. He will start from Nabdam to Tampane. Tomorrow he will continue. I think that we need to be clear in our minds that we are dealing with the most reckless, the, the most wasteful administration since 1992. In fact, Nanado Danko is a product of Legon Hall, the University of Ghana. Right at the entrance are these bold inscriptions. To whom much is given, much is expected. Akufado passed through Legon Hall without the benefit of having those words inscribed in his heart. And so today, he's leading an administration that has destroyed everything that we owe or hold dear as a people. The economy today is in a shamble. Akufado, through Ghanaians and through their taxes, have given him close to 300 billion Ghana cities in tax revenue alone in six years. And what does he have to show for? My brother talks about an ongoing hospital after six years. Roland. Well, the, the general one was just announced in 2020. Exactly. First it was 88 by So, April, so that, is what, by that is why I'm saying that you have received this amount of resources and after six years, you are telling us projects that are ongoing. That tells you the state of mind of our president. Our president had gotten more financial resources than any administration since 1992. In the words of Dr. Mahmoud Obaomiya, mm -hmm. in opposition, he said, look, the NDC in eight years had gotten 248 billion Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And that with that money, and they should have built thousand factories. Yeah, he, he made that comment. He made those comments. Today, tax revenue alone, tax revenue alone, which is about 300 billion Ghana cities, mm -hmm. is more than what the NDC got in eight years. And this one, I mean tax revenue, borrowing, loans, grants, everything combined in eight years. Where did you, they are tied to key expenditure Hold on, items. hold on. And so I'll come you there. You can't make that argument. I will well. come there. Look. Our friends say, and a quick response, that, oh, they've used the borrowed money or the funds for free SHS. The overall cost of free SHS from September 2017 to date is 5.4 billion Ghana cities. So you take 5.4 billion Ghana cities out of 300 billion Ghana cities of tax revenue, how much is left? The problem is not those expenditures. So far, they have spent 10 billion Ghana cities on road infrastructure. Take that from the 300 billion Ghana cities, how much is left? The bulk of the money that has accrued to the Akufuado administration had been used for consumption, more consumption, and consumption. And so, if you look, whereas you can see that the NDC administration went for 3 billion Chinese facility, right? And used it to 1 billion to build a gas infrastructure, you cannot readily tell what Akufuado has used the taxpayers' money for readily. You mean physical infrastructure? Physical infrastructure, you cannot. But you, 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 you are not assuming that um, all these monies that were borrowed were just uh, being spent by individuals, right? Because they are key. They are. They are. They are linked to key expenditures. Like right? what? That the ones we find. See, in the let me We've give you. The let me let me quickly zoom on to. That's something. what I'm asking. That you come. I'm in, asking. In, in are you the, making those in the twenty analysis? In the, you see. In, in, 20, in 2023 budget presentation, the chief of staff went to parliament and presented the outend for the office of the president. Let me take you through some of the items quickly. Operational enhancement expenditure. Listen to them all. And when they want to steal the taxpayers' money, they give this nomenclature to it. Operational enhancement expenditure. Release for funds to the secretary to vice president for urgent and other emergency activities, 3.4 million Ghana cities, the same vice president. 
operational enhancement expenditure. Relief for funds for secretary to vice president for agent 200 and something thousand Ghana cities. So you see where your money is going to. Emergencies. And if you ask Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya what this money has been used for, that is what he's using in roaming the churches, imams, and other big places. You saw when he went to the, uh, this pastor, Ousu Bemba, the envelope they gave, the brand the envelope. 000. The 50,000. That's Amir Uku was holding. Dr. Bamiya is a public servant. Oh, we please. know his... Just no, hold on, hold on, please. Are you saying please, the, the donation please, was please, made out please, of the please. This emergency monies, that is what he's using the money for. What emergency that Bamiya ran? How did you come to that conclusion? No, but what emergency does he's he run? He's a vice president of the country, for God's sake. Vice president, what's your role? But Unless the president assigned you. Constitutionally, there's no defined role for the vice president. No, please. Read your constitution. No, Look, I understand what's in the, the constitution. Don't take me there. So the but we know what I, the norm has no, hold been. on, hold on. The point because there's a spirit to be, and letter no, to the no, constitution. No, 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 I beg you. The, uh, point ought, the point ought to be made clear. When you say emergencies by the vice president, the emergencies are going to churches in brown envelope and giving money directly. Uh -huh. No, have you ever seen a situation where directly your vice president goes to church, 50,000, and look, in the coming days, you'll be moving to more churches <laughs> with You're brown worried. envelopes. Ah. But you see, but you see, even more curious. So the vice president should visit churches. It's not about visiting the churches, so why not? <laughs> but the brown envelope, the politics of brown envelope, but even more importantly, the same document they presented to parliament, they said, look, fuel supply alone to grow, 20 million. Ghana cities for just 2022. Visit to regions by the president, 16.9 million Ghana cities, 16 regions. So effectively, he does 1 million Ghana cities per region. Cabinet retreat, cabinet of 19 ministers, the president, the vice, and some people, they spent 4.8 million Ghana cities. The document is here. I'll give everything to you. I have, I have, Independence I have celebration the, in Cape Coast for 2022. 10.4 million Ghana cities, independent, one day celebration, 10 point something million. Internet services and telecommunication, ABBA, 20 million Ghana cities. Ba uh, batteries and ties for vehicles used at the office of the president, 15 million Ghana cities. Release of funds for the vice president, like I just gave you, 3.4 million. Are you saying the presidency shouldn't run? That's good, the, that's the good question. question. To ask. You see, any time the president <laughs> is moving, you see his convoy. Have you seen it? Mm. That is what he's using the money for, the travels. I mean, if you are doing just 16 regions, remember that for the president, you have the, the RCC. So most of the things will even be done by them, where you sleep and others. So if you are doing... 16.9 million Ghana cities in your regional tours alone. Do you know what it means? So when TUC says that Mr. Akufado must cut down on such frivolous expenditures, this is what, do you know, in 2021 alone, the office of the president spent 148 million Ghana cities on what they called operational enhancement costs. Roland, I dare ask you, what exactly is the meaning of this operational enhancement? To enhance call? operations of the presidency. That was when he was doing the luxurious private jets, the flyings. He was paying $20,000 an hour. Can Akufado afford this on retirement? The president had a whole V8 assigned to his chair. That is how reckless <laughs> Akufuado had become to the taxpayer. Look, and, and, and look. You didn't hear the defense minister in, in, that in, the security of the president is paramount in all this. You don't want your president of the line. It could be another Danko Akufuado today, but it could be somebody else tomorrow. You see, and that person's life within the remit of the structure of our sovereignty you see, needs to be protected. You see, as for, uh, what, what, how did you call him? Dominic Nituwo. Ignore him. The defense minister. Ignore him. See, at the time when they claimed that the presidential judge could not, within that same time, Akufado was using that presidential judge to go to Uganda for the inauguration of Yoweri Museveni. And at that time, 
when he used that private jet, it took him six hours. That's the same journey from here to London. So what are we talking about? What Relax. is clear, what is clear is that the Akufado administration has not managed the public funds of this country well. So you're talking about Look, the decision or discretion yes. as far as expenditure And, and, and you see, even more worrying, even more worrying is the fact that the TUC had really, really romanticized this administration. Why? How, yeah. how were you expecting them to say? No, hold on. Your bar for the past six years has been quite accommodating at the TUC boss. But this time around, they cannot do any other thing but to come out. Look, our president had used 399, 399, come down, 399 million Ghana cities in building or digging a hole. The most expensive hole in the whole world. Today, the cathedral, the national cathedral, and I want this to be on record, had become a conduit for money laundering. Yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. I am putting because it. Because it's a categorical statement. Yes, I am ranking. putting it on record, <laughs> on live television. Do you know what they have done? This is your national cathedral. Over 100 million Ghana cities had been given to one individual, David Aj. David Aj. For services. For what service? Ah, you, don't, you see the 3D, <laughs> architectural? The 3D drawings yeah. and all. He's through a renowned what, architect. Through what process? Single source. Gabi. In 2016, hold on. Gabi in 2016 <laughs> used to say that single source was a conduit for stealing. Those were his words. That any time government gives single source, it, was, it amounted to stealing. Today, by what process was David Ajay selected? Over 100 million Ghana cities of the cathedral money was given to one single individual. So more than 40% of the money spent on the cathedral project went to one individual. Today, as we speak, Samuel uh, Samuel, uh, uh, the Nehemiah, uh, Nehemiah group or something, mm -hmm. in the US, mm -hmm. they've been giving $6 million. For what? This is taxpayers' money. Akufado does not pay taxes. You know that. As the president, he doesn't. And because he's not tax paying, he does not have an appreciation of the pain ordinary Ghanaians are going through. Just yesterday, Madiji, before the Hold president on. became Just president, he was a citizen. But was now, I am person. talking about now, <laughs> the now. The taxes he's paid then were used. You are saying that he's, he's lost touch with reality. Completely, completely. And, and you, oh, know the pain, do you know the pain that I have? The pain that I have. Look, I have a document with me here. And this is even national health. You know, for labor, their health is critical. National health, so maybe we can. Look, these are what we call the, the, that, mm. the downward releases for NHIS. Mm -hmm. From 2013, I just want to do the comparative analysis so my brother will appreciate it. As of 2013, the releases to national health insurance started from 59%. By 2014, it moved to 75%. By 2015, it moved to 73%. Mm. By 2016, releases to national health insurance moved to 86%. <laughs> By 2017, it went up to 77%. 77. By 2018, now guess something. Immediately, Akufuado's then minister, I mean like Minister of Finance, Ken, passed the Capital and Realignment Act. Listen to what happened. They, it moved to 32%. Came to 57%. 34%. 2021 releases 6%. Do you know that in 2022, the taxes you and I pay for national health insurance, that is the levy, the NHIS levy, do you know that it gave 1.9 billion Ghana cities? Akufado released zero. To national health it's insurance. It's not Akufuado, it's the finance no, minister. No, it is Akufuado. The finance minister is acting on his instructions. Akufuado released, at the same time, Akufuado was traveling abroad for medical expenses. Ghanaian workers today, when they go to our respective hospitals, they are doing cash and carry. Do you think that if Akufuado had the benefit of being under cash and carry, 
in 2022, you will do zero release to national health insurance? Definitely not. And so what organized labor is telling Mr. Kufuado is that you are sleeping on the job. Wake up, Mr. President. Mm. 